Black Ops 3 has a unifying game design principle that we really rallied around. Our goal is to wind the combat loop tightly. We integrate that philosophy into every game feature and mechanic. Black Ops 3 MP features a precision and momentum-driven movement system that allows you to stay guns up and in the fight. And we want you to get in and stay fighting as much as possible. That starts with unlimited sprint, which allows you to always stay on the go, to rush objectives, maneuver into position, and flank enemies. But it also includes the ability to mantle over obstacles without a break in weapon control or movement. You can mantle forward, backwards, and even mantle while side strafing. We also have a thrust jump. It's an analog system governed by a thrust meter. By tapping jump, you can extend your time in the air. Or you can press and hold jump to get further or higher. Changing direction while mid-air is completely possible by engaging thrust in a different direction. Next up, we have the power slide. While sprinting, press the crouch button to execute a power slide. And while power sliding, you can aim and shoot in any direction. You can queue up a power slide even while in mid-air, and you can land into a slide while turning and firing. Wall runs are easily initiated by pressing your left thumbstick towards a wall while in the air. To continue your wall run, just keep your thumbstick moving forward in the direction you are running. While wall running, you can do all the things you'd expect to be able to do. Hip and ADS fire, and even use equipment. You can chain wall runs together. You can even reverse direction and head back the way you came by turning into the wall to face the other direction and pressing the jump button to thrust back onto the wall. Last but not least, some maps feature water and swimming. You can now swim in any direction with control of movement and weapons while underwater. This opens up new opportunities for new angles of attack and methods of navigating the environment. Your time underwater is limited, but you can quickly thrust jump out to catch your breath. All movements in Black Ops 3 are designed to be chained together so you can have endless momentum while you retain full combat control. Earlier we talked about winding the combat loop, where each movement can be chained with the next, giving you these different choices on how to move about the map and engage your enemies. It's all about risk versus reward. In all combat situations, each player has multiple ways to engage the fight. Chaining the different movement systems together allows each player to develop their own strategies and combat tactics. One of the most significant additions to multiplayer this year is the introduction of specialists. These elite black operations soldiers provide custom weaponry and cybernetic enhancements to players on the battlefield. Each specialist has the option to equip either a special weapon or ability. These are mutually exclusive choices. You must make a tough choice between nine different specialists available in MP, eight of which are playable in the beta. While weapons provide powerful lethal damage, abilities provide targeted tactical advantages, reinforcing the specialist's unique role in combat and adding that extra layer of depth to playstyles. Once you earn your specialist weapon or ability through either time or score, press L1 and R1 at the same time to activate it. Pick Ken is back. We're going to walk you through some custom Creative Class loadouts that will support your specialist weapon or ability of choice. Let's go through some loadouts and playstyles built around a few of the specialist weapons and abilities. This specialist is Call Sign Ruin. Here we've equipped his gravity spikes. This build is based around face to face combat with the Man of War assault rifle, fully loaded with FMJ, long barrel, quick draw, and grip attachments. With Overclock, Fast Hand, and Gung Ho as perk selections, we'll lure enemy players into tight spaces and outgun them. And Ruin is a combat axe fan and can humiliate enemies using it. The gravity spikes are driven into the ground with such force that it sends everyone in the nearby area home in a body bag. Or you can equip Ruin's ability, Overdrive. This cybernetic leg augmentation enables a temporary, massive burst of speed. It's excellent in any mode when getting to the objective quickly is key to victory, and it's fantastic for hunting down guys trying to make an escape. 
This specialist is Outrider, and we've chosen her ability Vision Pulse. We have equipped the Bolt Action Locust Sniper Rifle that is using the Rapid Fire and Ballistic CPU attachments. By using the Overkill wildcard, Outrider can quickly switch to a VMP submachine gun that has a reflex optic and a grip. Vision Pulse pings the environment around the player to reveal the location of all nearby enemies, even if they are behind cover. Also armed with a trip mine and loaded with the tracker and awareness perks, Outrider is ready to hunt. Alternatively, we could have chosen the Outrider's weapon, the Sparrow. This compound bow fires bolts with increased force the longer the bow is drawn. The best part is that these bolts are explosive, knocking players back and generating carnage for anyone nearby. This next specialist is Profit. Choosing his glitch ability gives him a quick escape out of any dangerous situation. For our loadout, we are going with the Shiva. This is a powerful, semi-auto marksman style rifle, complemented with a reflex optic, quick draw, and rapid fire attachment. We've decided to choose Simtex and Shock Charges, and rounding out his lineup are the perks Blind Eye, Hardwired, and Sixth Sense for excellent situational awareness. When used, Glitch teleports him back to where he was positioned a few seconds ago. If we find ourselves outnumbered or outflanked, we can execute Prophet's Glitch to get out of a sticky situation. Prophet's weapon of choice is called Tempest. You charge this weapon up to fire a bolt of lightning. That bolt of lightning then chains to other nearby enemies. It will leave a room full of bad guys that decided to camp with a sweet lesson on what not to do. This specialist is Battery. We built this loadout around the ability Kinetic Armor. This ability gives Battery a layer of reactive armor that deflects enemy bullets away from her. Our loadout for Battery combines the powerful Haymaker shotgun with an attached laser sight and extended mags. For backup, we've got the XM53 Free Fire Launcher, CQB Fighting Perks, and Concussion Grenades. This setup gives Battery brutal, close quarters combat power. She excels at charging the front line and assaulting heavily fortified positions, using kinetic armor to gain a massive boost in defense while clearing out enemies with a powerful CQB-oriented loadout. Alternatively, we could have chosen Battery's weapon, the War Machine a mobile grenade launcher that fires bouncing explosives which detonate after a short time or on direct contact with an enemy. This weapon causes total chaos by producing massive explosive damage over large areas. This specialist is Seraph, and we have chosen Annihilator. We'll bring the fight to our enemies using a KRM-262 shotgun with rapid fire and long barrel. Using thermite, flashbangs, as well as overclock anti-up and sixth sense perks, She's not afraid to confront enemies out in the open and engage in direct combat. The Annihilator is the biggest hand cannon we've made yet, capable of taking out multiple enemies in a single shot. The Annihilator is a beast for sure, but a solid alternative, Seraph's ability combat focus packs quite a punch. As soon as you are ready to jump on an objective or about to hit a solid streak, activate and you'll be earning a massive scoring bonus towards your score streaks. This next specialist is Nomad. Let's choose his ability, Rejack. Now, let's build his loadout starting with the Dingo LMG with a recon sight. For attachments, we equipped Fast Mag along with Quick Draw and used the primary gunfighter wildcard to equip extended clips. Our lethal is going to be C4 to give us strong area damage. And for perks, we chose Flak Jacket, Scavenger, and Gung Ho. When Rejack is charged and ready, it revives Nomad at the spot of his death. The other possibility is to choose Nomad's weapon, the Hive. This deadly trap sends nanobots swarming after any enemy that triggers it. This gives Nomad the potential to hold down key points on the map or to cover his flank. This specialist is Reaper, a fully robotic killing machine. His weapon is the Scythe. Reaper is using a very fast-firing submachine gun, the Weevil, with grip and long barrel as his primary weapon attachments. His afterburner perk choice allows him to recharge thrusters quicker. Fast hands and tactical mask round out his loadout. When playing as Reaper, your arm transforms into a minigun that unleashes a flurry of lead onto your enemies. Hold ADS to spin it up and be ready to fire at a moment's notice. Another choice is Reaper's ability, Psychosis. Reaper is able to hack the DNI of opposing enemies, creating exact replicas of himself as decoys. This gives him the crucial seconds to gain the upper hand. The next specialist is Spectre, and we have chosen the Ripper. 
our loadout for Spectre has no primary weapon, instead relying on the RK-5 burst fire pistol with an attached reflex sight, suppressor, and high caliber rounds. The equipped perks are built around aggressive movement and staying off the enemy radar. The Ripper is an arm upgrade which equips a lethal melee blade, allowing for extended lunge attacks. This Spectre build is designed for silent kills to avoid gunfights which attract unwanted attention. Instead, we'll opt for deadly melee strikes with the Ripper active. Spectre's alternative ability is Active Camo. It provides Spectre with invisibility for a short duration. This gives Spectre a great window to gain superior positioning over enemies or cap-needed objectives.